Hello friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel and Facebook page. Today, I will show you how to fix the Windows couldn't connect to the printer error. Check the printer name and try again. Or sharing printer error operation could not be completed. Error 0x00000709. Let's go start. Go to the computer where the printer is physically connected. Turn on Windows features on or off. Press the Windows key and type in the Windows features, and click on Turn on Windows features on or off into the search bar. Find the Print and Document Services on the list. Enable the LPD Print Service and the LPR Port Monitor under Print and Document. And go the SMB 1.0 slash CIFS file sharing support Turn on SMB Client and Server. Click OK. Now restart and check printer sharing. Second step user permission. Search the registry editor in the Windows search bar and click on registry editor. Open the registry editor interface. Then click on hkey underscore current underscore user. Then click on Software. Then click on Microsoft. Scroll down the button. Then click on Windows NT. Then click on Current Version. Then click on Windows. On the right side, delete everything without the default. Double click the default and set the value leave it blank. Device, so now delete it. Again right click on Windows and go the permissions. Just search for user everyone and if you don't find it here then click on add. Type here everyone. Then click on OK. Allow the full control and click Advanced. Everyone full controlling then click OK. Apply and OK click. Close the windows. Step 3 Enable File and Printer Sharing Press the Windows key and type in the Control Panel and click on Control Panel into the search bar. Then click on Network and Sharing Center. Then click on Change Advanced Sharing Settings. Under your current profile, Private, turn on Network Discovery and File and Printer Sharing. Under All Networks, Try turning off password protected sharing, then click Save Change. Reshare the printer and tick X64 drivers. Search the control panel in the Windows search bar and click on Control Panel. Then click on Devices and Printers. Right click on your printer and go to Printer Properties. Go to Sharing tab. Check Share this printer. Click Additional Drivers. Tick X64, then click OK and OK. Step 5. RPC Auth Level Privacy Enabled Search the Registry Editor in the Windows Search Bar and click on Registry Editor. Then click on HKey Local Machine. Then click on System. Then click on Current Control Set and Control. Scroll down. Then click on Print and go to the right site. Just search for RPC Auth Level Privacy Enabled. And if you don't find it here, then type it here. Type for RPC Auth Level Privacy Enabled. Right click on it 
and go to Modify and set the value 0. Step 6 Printer Troubleshooting Search the system and click on System on search bar. Search here Troubleshoot Settings. Select Additional Troubleshooters on the right side. Find Printer and click Run the Troubleshooter. Select your printer then click on Next. Then click on Apply this fix. Printer troubleshooting has completed. Updates printer driver. Press the Windows key and type in the Device Manager and click on Device Manager into the search bar. Then click on Printers or Print Queues, right click your printer and choose Update Driver. Close window and restart your computer. Back to client computer. Click the start menu in search control panel, then click on control panel. Then click on network and sharing center. Then click on change advanced sharing settings. Under your current profile, private network. Turn on Network Discovery and File and Printer Sharing. Under All Networks. Under Password Protected Sharing, select Turn Off Password Protected Sharing for simpler access. Close Window. Re-enable SMB and Printer Service Documents. Press the Windows key and type in the Windows Features, and click on Turn on Windows Features on or off into the search bar. Find the Print and Document Services from the list. Enable the LPD Print Service and the LPR Port Monitor under Print and Document. Go the SMB 1.0 slash CIFS File Sharing Support. Turn on SMB Client and Server under SMB 1.0 slash CIFS file sharing support. Then click OK. Now restart your computer. After turning on the computer, try to connect to the printer sharing check. Not solved and go second step. Uninstall printer drivers for the host computer or main computer by using the Revo uninstaller software. Don't worry, this software link has been added to the video description. Must be press the scan button to start scanning for leftover files folders, and registry items. Then click on Select All and click Delete. Close Window. Now restart your PC. Open any browser and type here your printer model and the latest version download. This is a 32-bit operating system, and this is 64-bit operating system due the work of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Check my operating system bit. 64-bit. So download 64-bit. Follow me. If you are first visiting my YouTube channel and Facebook page, 
please subscribe, like, follow and notify the belt icon click and see your next updated video. Click the Start menu and search Control Panel, then click on Control Panel. Then Devices and Printers. Select your printer and right click on it and go to Printer Properties from the top menu. Navigate to the Sharing tab. Check the box for Share this printer. Give the printer a unique share name and click Apply and OK. Close windows. Click the Start menu and search Services, then click on Services. Find the server from the list. Right click Server and select Restart from the Context menu. Find Print Spooler in the list. Right-click Print Spooler and select Restart from the Context menu. Back to Client PC. Access Print and Print. Press the Windows key and type in the Registry Editor and click on Registry Editor into the search bar. HKY Local Machine. Software. Policies Click. Microsoft. Windows NT. Printers. If you don't find it here, then create point and print. On the right side, if you not find, there are three items then create Enforest, Restricted and Trusted Servers and set value 0. Now the latest printer driver is installed for this PC. Follow me. If you are first visiting my YouTube channel and Facebook page, please subscribe, like, follow and notify the belt icon click and see your next updated video. Enable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP. Press the Windows key and type in the control panel and click on control panel into the search bar. Then click on Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your active network adapter and go to Properties. Click Version 4 and click Advanced. Go to Winds tab. Enable NetBIOS over TCP IP. Try again Connect Printer. Try to another client PC sharing printer install. Go to Control Panel and click Devices and Printers, Add Printer and click it. Select a shared printer by name. Type here backslash backslash name or IP address backslash printer share name. Then click Next. Again go to Client PC and delete the current Windows user. Go to this PC and go to Manage. Then click on Local User and Group. Users click. Select your current user and right click on it. Go to the delete in the list. Enable the administrator account. Right click on it. Go to the properties. Unbox the account is disabled. Close and restart your PC and go the administrator account. Now log in administrator. Click the Start menu and search Control Panel, then click on Control Panel. View by small icons. 
Now select Devices and Printers. Printer and Scanners. Add Device. Click on the Add manually. Select Share a Printer by Name. Next, enter the network path to the printer, i.e. backslash backslash computer name backslash shared printer name, as the port name. Next click. You've successfully added Epson L800 on printer. Then click Finish.